We are gathered today, just as we have gathered before, to remember those who served, those who fought, those still missing, and those who gave their last full measure of devotion for our country. We are gathered at a monument on which the names of our fallen friends and loved ones are engraved, and with crosses instead of diamonds beside them, the names of those whose fate we do not yet know. One of those who fell wrote shortly before his death these words, Take what they have left and what they have taught you with their dying and keep it with your own and take one moment to embrace those gentle heroes you left behind. I'm standing at the Arlington National Cemetery, 624 acres of land originally belonged to Robert E. Lee through his wife, Mary Custis, whose father was the adopted son of George Washington. During the Civil War, the land was taken over by the federal troops, 200,000 some graves over here. And when I walk in a place like this, I feel like I'm walking on hallowed ground because here lie men and women who gave their life for my freedom as an immigrant who came to this land, I made a voluntary decision to choose this as my country. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for my salvation. I'm grateful for how God has blessed me with a wonderful wife and children and ministry and future. But I'm also grateful to these men and women I'll never meet this side of heaven. But thank you for what you've done for us. And as Americans, we should always be proud of those who have served and given their lives for us.